down. That's right. Tension gone. Loose left. Just like that rag doll. That's right. Loose left. Dropping right on down. Floating, drifting, dropping right on down. That's right. Loose slap, the tension gone. Everybody, just feel yourself relaxing. Loose slip, drifting, dropping down. Deeper, father. That's right, just relax. Deeper, father, drifting right on down. there in the audience it looks appears to you that they are asleep and they're not in sleep they are in trance they can hear everything that's going on around you so let's give them a big round of applause now we're gonna do one exercise and this is gonna show who's actually in the state we do term as hypnosis now volunteers at the count of three I want you just to open your eyes that's right volunteers at the count of three I just want you to open your eyes one two and three just open your eyes now several of you have done well up here let's open your eyes sit back there you go several of you have done well up here i'm going to conduct an exercise to see who's actually done the best so we're going to start over here with you and what is your name Todd. Todd, now I want you to look up at me. I want you to close your eyes. We're going to stretch your lids. I'm going to take my thumb. I'm going to place it on your forehead. When I remove my thumb, you're going to feel your eyes bind shut right now. Try to open your eyes. You'll feel you can't. Give it some effort. They're going to pop open right now. One, two, three, pop. Right open. Good. Now I want you to just look up at me. I want you to close your eyes, and we're going to relax right now. Deeper, Father. Now what's your name? It's what is it? Victoria. Victoria. Victoria, look up at me for a second. I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to place my thumb on your forehead. You're going to feel your eyes bind shut right now. Try to open your eyes. You feel you can't. Give it some effort. They're going to pop open right now. One, two, three, pop. Right open. Good. Amazing, huh? Yeah, I want you to look up at me and close your eyes. And you're just going to relax deeper asleep right now. Just relax. And you look paranoid. And what's your name? Cheryl. Cheryl, I want you to look up at me. I want you to close your eyes and stretch your legs. I'm going to place my thumb on your forehead. When I remove my thumb, you're going to feel your eyes bind shut right now. Try to open your eyes. You feel you can't. Give it some effort. They're going to pop open right now. One, two, three, pop. Right open. Good. Son of a gun. All right. I just want you to look up at me and close your eyes. And then I want you to relax right now. Deeper, Father. We're gonna come down on this end, and what's your name? Deja. Angel? Deja. Oh, Deja, Deja. All right, I need you to look up at me. I want you to close your eyes. I'm gonna stretch your lids. I'm placing my thumb on your forehead. When I remove my thumb, feel your eyes bind shut right now. I'm trying to open your eyes. And yeah, and I'm gonna slip you on back out of here. You got so close yet so far, as they do say. And what's your name? David. David, I want you to look up at me and close your eyes. I'm going to stretch your lids and place my thumb on your forehead. When I remove my thumb, your eyes going to bind shut right now. Try to open your eyes. You feel you can't. Give it some effort. They're going to pop open right now. One, two, three, pop. Right open. Good. <laughs> Better than drugs, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I want you just to close your eyes and you're going to relax and drift right now. Deeper father. All right. We're going to come on over this side. And what's your name? Brenda. Brenda, I want you to look up at me. I want you to close your eyes. We're going to stretch your lids, putting my thumb on your forehead. When I open my, when I remove my thumb, your eyes are going to bind shut right now. Try to open the eyes. You feel you can't give it some effort. They're going to, and you just relax. We don't even have to. I can tell that you're already in there. All right. Last two here. And we're going to start with you. And what's your name? Mia. N Mia. Mia. All right, I need you just to close your eyes. We're going to stretch your legs and place my thumb on your forehead. When I remove my thumb, your, your eyes are going to bind shut right now. Try to open your eyes. You feel you can't. Give it some effort. They're going to pop open right now. One, two, three, pop. Right open. Good. Didn't think that was going to happen to you, huh? Yeah. Just need you to close your eyes, and I want you to relax right now. Deeper. Father. Last but not least, Miss Hollywood. <laughs> 
All right, I want you to look up at me, close your eyes. We're gonna stretch your legs. I'm gonna place my thumb, close your eyes. We're gonna stretch your legs. I'm gonna place my thumb on your forehead. Feel your eyes binding shut right now. Try to open your eyes. You feel you can't, give it some effort. They're gonna pop open right now. One, two, three, pop, right open, good. Just need you to close your eyes and we're just gonna drift deeper right now. That's right, deeper asleep. Didn't even think she was gonna be in it. All right, now we got our volunteers up here and it looks like we all got them in uh, under hypnosis right now. We're gonna do one more exercise. This one is of course, part of the show, that's the beginning of the show, and this is gonna show you who's the deepest. Volunteers at the count of three, that's right, volunteers at the count of three, when I wake you up here tonight, you're gonna to realize you are in a rock band. That's right, you are in a rock band right here at the Broward County Fair. You're gonna grab an instrument from under your chair, and you're gonna play that instrument. That's right, you're gonna play that instrument as good as you can. It's an instrument that you took a life learned lesson in to learn. That's right, you are in a rock band at the count of three. Matter of fact, you're at a rock audition, so you wanna play your instrument better than the person next to you. And some of you are gonna get a Solo, that's right. Some of you are going to get a solo. You in a rock band? That's right. Volunteers at the count of three. One, two, and three. That's right. Grab those instruments and play them. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Broward County Fair, our rock band. Give them a hand. That's right. They're going to play those instruments, whatever instrument they want. That's right. See, we got some drums. We got some guitar. Fisher Price guitar right here. Uh oh. We got Rachel's wife decides to stand up here. That's right, musicians. All right, play those instruments even faster. That's right, play those instruments faster. Nothing changed here. All right, it's solo time. We're gonna give you a solo time right here. Solo time. Solo time right here. Do a fancy move with that instrument. That's right, a fancy move with that instrument. See, she's playing in his back. Oh, he went up on the leg. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, now I want you guys to play those instruments in super slow motion. That's right, super slow motion. Yeah. All right, now you can sit down right there. All right, volunteers, on the count of three, I want you to relax. One, two, and three. Just relax, deeper, father. Just relax, that's right. Deeper, father, relax. Let's give them a big round of applause. All right, one of my favorites. It's not even on the agenda, but we're gonna do this one. Volunteers at the count of three. That's right, volunteers at the count of three. When I wake you up tonight, you're gonna realize one thing. Every time you hear me say that word hypnosis, that's right, every time you, each and every time you hear me say that word hypnosis, the most vital part of my clothing that you are able to see or that you are exposed to will suddenly disappear. That's right, the most vital part of my clothing that you're able to see or exposed to will suddenly disappear. Now that clothing will only remain gone for just a few seconds and then it will reappear. That's right at the count of three. And the one that I'm touching right now, you out of this whole crowd, you are really, 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 really gonna like what you see. Yeah. That's right, volunteers at the count of three, just open your eyes. One, two, and three. Just open your eyes, everyone. Just need you all to kick kick back and relax. I'm gonna talk to the crowd, and as I do that, you might wanna listen. You'll find it very informative. And those of you out there in the audience that showed up kinda late after we'd done the induction, what happened was, I explained to the audience what hypnosis was, and it's where your mind wanders for no reason at all. It's just like daydreaming, or even when you're in a deep sleep and you're dreaming. But uh, we asked for volunteers to come up to get in this state of hypnosis, and, uh, we got, you know, whoever wanted to come up, we didn't pick anybody, but they come up and they uh, sat down. We did an induction, a breathing exercise. I did some talking, got them relaxed, and then they fell into this state we do term as hypnosis. And then uh, some people, you know, I think I had one or two people I had to send back. It doesn't mean you cannot get hypnotized. It just means that the concentration got lost. So it wasn't easy for you to fall in this state we do term as hypnosis. But... Uh, 
Anybody can try this. We're doing shows every day at a fair, and all you got to do is just come up, anybody, as long as you're 16 years old, to come on up and grab a chair tomorrow, the next day, or whatever, and then uh, you can fall in this state we do term as hypnosis. And uh, what's going on over here with you? Kind of big, ain't you, boy? <laughs> what, what'd you say? Kind of big down there. Oh, well, you know what they say. Uh, you're laughing over here. What's going on with you? Your shirt is gone. <laughs> my shirt is what? It's gone. I got my shirt right here. Oh, wow. You see anything strange? Everybody's acting weird up here. Um, I can see your nipples. <laughs> you can see my... <laughs> okay. You all see the same thing? Yeah. What happened to your shirt, man? My shirt is on. Now listen, what's your name? Tori. Tori. Now my name is Hypnosis. Some people call me Big Ben, but uh, yeah. And you're just trying not to look. You okay? Yeah. Everything looks okay? I got, you know, my clothes on? Hypnosis. But uh, you kind of, you, you, you kind of scare me. I'm a... Just gonna let you, yeah, she scared me. I don't know what she might do. That's right, just relax. Just relax. Deeper, father, drifting, dropping right on down. Deeper. There you go. Just father deeper. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right, now volunteers, when I count to three, you're gonna be models. That's right, you're gonna be at the Brown County Fair and you are gonna be a big supermodel. You're gonna model the latest fashions up here at the stage of the Brown County Fair. That's right, volunteers, at the count of three, you are gonna be models. You're gonna be in a competition with all your fellow volunteers up here. You're gonna model for this crowd, and guess what? You're gonna have a sexy model stage name. That's right, you're gonna have a sexy model stage name, which you'll let everybody know when we get started. On the count of three, our volunteers, just open your eyes. One, two, and three. That's right, open your eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, Brown County Fair, let's hear it for our models. They are here to model. That's right. And we're going to start. We're going to leave you for last down there. We're going to start on over here. And what's your name? Victoria. Victoria. Now, do you have a sexy stage name? Juicy. Juicy. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead. Let's hear it for Juicy. And Juicy's modeling those checkable pants. Yeah, checkable pants and black shirts. She picked up at J.C. Penney's. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Juicy. And, and what's your name? Tom. And what is your sexy stage name? Lil Brown. Lil Brown. That's right. Model for him, Lil Brown. Let's hear it for Lil Brown. That's right, Lil Brown. He's wearing that H&M outfit. Yeah. That's right, the Adidas. Oh, Lord. Lil Brown. Okay. All right, let's keep it PG. Let's hear it for <laughs> Little Brown. <laughs> All right, moving right along. What is your name? Cheryl. And what is your sexy stage name? Cinnamon Bar. Cinnamon Bar. Let's hear it. Go ahead and model Miss Cinnamon Bar. Miss Cinnamon Bar is wearing that checkered red and black shirt. That's right, she's got on those jeans she picked up at the Miami International Mall. That's right, yeah, she's here to model for you. Do a sexy pose for the camera. That's right, do, there you go. That's here for Miss Cinnamon Bar. All right, moving right along. What's your name? Victoria. Victoria, now what is your sexy stage name? Brown Sugar. Brown Sugar, let's hear it for Brown Sugar. Go ahead and model. Here she is, Miss Brown Sugar. That's right, she got on those nice black pants and she's wearing that yellow hair, yeah. That's right, she's got her outfit from Victoria's Secret, yeah. All right, oh wow. Yeah, we have in this one, yeah. This is the After Midnight Show. All right, which one we, what's your name? Nia. Nia, right? Yeah, I gotta remember that, Nia. And what is the sexy stage name? Caramel Ecstasy. Caramel Ecstasy. Yeah, go on out there and show them what you got. Caramel Ecstasy. That's right, she's modeling those nice jeans. That red, uh, red shoes, the red, white, and blue top. 
That's right, she's got her outfit from Tommy Pilfinger. Yeah, go ahead. All righty, and you are? Brenda. Brenda, and what's your sexy stage name? Amani. Amani, all right, model for Amani. That's right, Amani, she's wearing those blue jeans with that nice, strawberry looking shirt. That's right, she got her clothes from Baby Gap. That's right, she's here. The model for you guys do a sexy pose for the camera. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, give her a hand. We got Amani. All righty, and you're the last guy up here, and uh, how do you feel about the competition? Uh, I feel like I beat them. Feel like you beat them, really? And what's your name? David. And what is the sexy stage name? Big Zaddy. Big Zaddy, oh wow, go ahead, Big Zaddy, model for him. There we go, we got Big Zaddy. Yeah, he's got that camouflage top on, he's got his slippers from Foot Locker, and he's got his nice sweatpants on, that's why right, Big Zaddy. Do a sexy pose for that camera. All right, let's give him a hand, Big Zaddy. All righty, I'm gonna need all the models to stand up right now. We're gonna see who's the winner. Everybody stand up, and we're gonna start over here. Model number one, let's hear it. We got model two. Model three. Model four. Model five. Amani, I remember that name. Uh-oh. And Mr. Zaddy. <laughs> all right, volunteers, except you two, I need you two to stand forward, and you, you all can go ahead and sit down. All righty, we're gonna start off over here, our model. And her competition. Wow, it looks like we got a winner, and that's Amani. Amani's the winner. All right, Amani, what do you got to say to your fans? I just want to say thank you all for letting me model for you today, and God bless you all. Oh, that was nice. All right, sit down there. And volunteers, I want you to focus on my hand and just close your eyes and relax right now. Deeper, Father. That's right, relax. Floating, drifting, dropping right on down. There you go. All righty. Want to have some more fun with them? All right, I like this next one. Uh, there's a lot of hypnos uh, hypnotists out there that's performing, and I try to do everything that's basically I made up. But this is one of my signature ones, and the only reason why we're going to do this one is because uh, I actually have games that are normally set up at the fairs. I don't have them here, but this is one of my favorite ones. Volunteers at the count of three. That's right, volunteers at the count of three. When you open your eyes and I wake you up, you're going to realize you are at the Miami-Dade County Fair, and you are about to play that Fool the Guesser game. That's right, you're at the Miami-Dade County Fair, and you're about to play that Fool the Guesser game. I'm going to try to guess your age or your weight, whichever one you want me to guess. Now, the good thing is, whatever I tell you, whatever I tell you your age or your weight is, you're going to get highly upset with me. That's right, you're going to get verbally upset with me with the numbers that you get from me. No matter what I say to you, you're going to get angry, you're going to get mad, you're going to let me have it, but not one time will you become physical. Let that sink in deeply. That's right, at the count of three volunteers, you're going to play the fool of the guest, so I'm going to guess your age or your weight, you're going to get highly upset with everything I say to you. Just open your eyes on the count of three. One, two, and three. Everybody just open your eyes. That's right, we're at the Broward County Fair, but you guys at the Miami-Dade County Fair, we're about to play the Fool to Guess a game. Who's ready to win a prize first up here? All right, we're gonna start on over this side. I need you to stand up. And uh, which one are we guessing for you? Your age, I gotta be within two years. Your weight, I gotta be within three pounds. Which one you think I could never guess? Your weight, I gotta be within three pounds. We're gonna say you weigh about 110. How dare you? What's that? How dare you? Am I too low? Oh, definitely. Definitely? All right, we're gonna say you weigh, uh, how about we try you up there at about 500 pounds? How rude. <laughs> Not. Too high, too low? Too high. Too high, oh well, I guess my guessing is bad, huh, huh? Think I should get another job? Definitely. All right. Well, you did win, so go ahead and sit down. We'll get you a prize later on, and uh, come on, you're next. And which one are we guessing for you? Your age or your weight? Um, 
my weight. Your weight got to be within three pounds, and you don't look like you had anything to eat in days. We're going to say you weigh about 70 pounds. 70 pounds? Come on, man. I'm little, but not that little. Okay. How about uh, 72? That's only like three pounds more. It's actually two, but uh, who's counting? Uh, what You want to try your age? All right, on your age, I got to be within two years. You got a baby face. We're going to say your age should be about eight. Are you serious? Nine. That's only, come on, man. 30? You may, no, no, that's not right. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Go ahead and sit down, we'll move along here. Come on, stand up here, and which one we guessing for you? Uh, age. Your age, I gotta be within two years. We're gonna say your age ought to be 41. Hey, do it. I don't know, maybe it's just a light. I, th I saw some gray hair or something. Hey, I'm not that old. Okay, well, you want to try your weight? All right. 180. Uh, no. No, no, no. Am I close? Nowhere near. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I guess I have you set down. Come on here, Miss Hollywood. You're next. Come on, which one are we guessing for you? Age. Age. Got to be within two years. We're going to say your age ought to be about 38. Mm-mm. Got that wrong too? Am I too high or too low? Mm, you're too high. Too high. How about uh, 16? Mm -mm. <laughs> you know, nowadays 16 year olds look like this, but uh, I'm not close either. I don't know what 16 year old looks like this. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> All right, you want to try your uh, weight? If you want to. All right, we're going to say your weigh about 130. Mm -mm. Too low or too high? Too low. Too low. How about 230? <laughs> no, too high. Too high? Uh, we're going to let you go ahead and sit down because she's not. She, yeah, I know I'm not good at this. I'll, yeah, she said I suck. Okay, now you can come on up here and uh, which one we guessing for you? Age. Age. Got to be within two years, baby. Phase 12. Bruh, that you trauma my set. <laughs> What's wrong? You don't see. Alright, <laughs> that's too young. Too young? Okay, how about 31? Well, damn. <laughs> I, I have bags in my eyes. She said, does she have bags in her eyes? No, I just, I thought maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I'm just bad, huh? Mm-hmm. Wanna try your weight or you just wanna be done with it? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna let you kiss my weight. I don't know, wait, gotta be within three pounds, we're gonna try it about 250. That's, boy, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Really? Damn, I suck, don't I? Well, I guess sit down. And uh, come on over here, you're next. And uh, which one we guessing for you? My age. Age, gotta be within two years. I look like you might have some wrinkles. Don't smile, because that's when they show. We're gonna say your age ought to be 69. I know you're not serious. I kinda am. Uh, I hope not. Am I too young or too old? You too old, and you know, you too old. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's just that, I don't know. Let's do your weight. Can we do your weight? Yeah, let's do the weight. I don't know, wait. Gotta be within three pounds. How about 194? Ain't nothing on me that big, and you know it. I thought you'd been stacking out here today. I don't even eat out here. You haven't had a funnel cake or a turkey leg? I don't even like funnel cakes. Okay. Emu. Oh, well, it just looked like you did, but okay. All right, go ahead and sit down. And uh, your last but not least, what are we guessing for you? Oh, uh, let's guess age. Age got to be within two years, another baby face, but you do have some hair there. We're going to try you at about 14. 14? Uh, I'll, I'll give you a hint, as high as your hairline. As high as my hairline. Oh, we got another comedian here, huh? All right. Okay, uh, so am I too high or too low? Uh, too low. Too low. How about we try uh, 40? Nah, we go a lot lower. A lot lower than 40? 39. 39? A little bit lower. Uh, 18? Yeah, you're warm. Getting warm. Oh, well, we ain't gonna keep doing this. Uh, you wanna try your weight? Wait, all right, gotta be within three pounds. Look like you need to do some snacking. We're gonna say you weigh uh, 101. No, give me some of your weight. I would love to, uh, but am I too high, too low? Uh, it is too low. 194. Uh, too high. I just suck, I guess. Okay, all right. Well, I tried my best. All right, volunteers, I want you to drift deeper asleep right now. There you go.
Drifting deeper. Sleep. That's right. Drifting deeper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. That's right. They're doing good up here. All right. We're going to try you out. Let's see here. This is a new one I just come up with yesterday. I haven't even done it yet, so I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Volunteers in the count of three. That's right. Volunteers in the count of three. When I wake you up, you're going to realize you up at one of the clubs down on Miami Beach. You're gonna be at a club, we're gonna play some music and you're gonna get up and dance for this crowd and the person that does the best dance is gonna take it all, that's right. Winner take it all. When you hear the music at the count of three, volunteers, you're gonna be at a club, we're gonna have a dance competition and the best dancer will take it all. One, two, and three. Just open, open your eyes, we're ready to dance, we're at the club, so come on, that's right, everybody, get up, there you go. There you go. All right, now, the music is about to switch, grab you a partner, that's right. Gonna grab you a partner with this next song. Whoever you want. There you go. All right, keep it going. All right, and now, volunteers at this club. The music, it is booty shaking time. There you go. It's twerk time. Come on, volunteer. Twerk it. Yeah. Here we go. What in the world? Only do what you can do. All right, volunteers, you got a few more seconds. That's right, the judges are looking. Somebody do a fancy twerk move. All righty, okay. All righty, volunteers, go ahead and stand up. Just stand where you are, get in the line. We're gonna see who the best dancer is starting down here. Number two. Number three, number four, five, damn, six, seven. All right, seven and six and one. Stand up, you guys go ahead and sit down. All right, let's do this one more time. Volunteer one, six, seven. And one is the winner. There you go. What do you want to say to your fans? I love y'all. <laughs> righty, go ahead and sit down. All righty. And right now, I want you to relax. All righty. Just relax. Deeper father. All right, we're going to do another one with them. All right, now the one that I'm touching on the back of the neck right now, that's right, when I count to three and wake you up, you're going to realize that the number eight is no longer in your vocabulary. You're going to find yourself counting five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and so on and so forth. It's just like that number eight has never existed. That's right. And the one that I am touching on the back of the neck right now, you're going to realize that every time I converse with you, that shirt you're wearing is going to start talking to you. That's right, that shirt you wearing is going to start talking to you, and it's going to get mad that it's even on you to begin with. It's going to eventually start attacking you. That's right, the person I'm touching, when I wake you up and I converse with you, you're going to realize that shirt is going to start talking to you, and it's going to eventually start attacking you. And the one that I'm touching on the back of the neck right now, when I wake you up, you're going to realize that when I converse with you, you now stutter. That's right. All words and phrases will not come out right because you will now stutter. The one I'm touching right now, you will now stutter. And the one that I'm touching on the back of the neck right now, when I wake you up, you're going to realize that every time I converse with you, a bolt of lightning is going to shoot out of the sky and nail you right on the butt. That's right. When I talk to you, converse with you, you're going to realize that a bolt of lightning is going to shoot out the sky and nail you right on the butt.
And the one that I'm touching right now, when I wake you up tonight and I start talking to you, you're going to realize that your voice has just changed into a Chinese dialect. That's right, I'm not going to understand nothing you say. And in fact, you're going to get angry and upset with me because I cannot under it. I cannot under it. I can't understand anything you're saying. You're going to be one pissed off Chinese person. That's right, the one I'm touching right now. And all other volunteers, when I wake you at the count of three and you see me touch my forehead, that's right, when you see me touch my forehead, your entire body will become a human seatbelt and you're going to use your body to strap in the person sitting near you. That's right, when you see me touch my forehead, the rest of you all, you are going to, your body's going to turn into a human seatbelt and you're going to use that body to strap in the person sitting nearest to you. That's right, volunteers, the count of three, just open your eyes, one, two, and three. That's right, just open your eyes and we're going to do a little experiment. I'm going to come over here, we're going to do an experiment. And what's your name? Brenda. Brenda, and you got ten fingers, I'm assuming, right? All right, I need you to count to each finger good and loud and we're going to go on for there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Now you just come out with eleven fingers. That's not right, is it? No. Wow. I tell you what, count again, good and loud, point to each finger, and we're going to go on from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, you come out with eleven fingers again. That's not right. And, uh... Are you looking at what's going on down here? Yes. No. What was that? No. Okay, yeah, she came out with 11 fingers. I just thought maybe you might have seen that. No. Okay, and uh, are you are you paying attention here? Yeah. And what, you know what's going on? Um, I guess she has 11 fingers. Um, I still see her counting. Uh, are you okay? No, there's something wrong with my shirt. It's been talking to me the entire time that you were talking to. Your shirt is talking to you? It's been talking to me. I, I, I don't know why. What is it saying? It's saying that I need to get out of here. Oh, wow. Ooh, oh. You what? It's saying I'm in danger. Oh, wow. Everybody's just whacked up out here. Maybe it's just the heat. Must be just the heat. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. What, 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 what are you doing over here? What, 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 what? What's going? Just yeah, just leave him alone. What, what are you doing over here? Just just sit back, sit back. And uh, I tell you what. Uh, how about I see you still struggling? How about you take your fingers, put your hands together. We're gonna count them by twos. Two, four, six, ten, twelve. Now, now you come out with twelve fingers. How, how did that happen? I don't know. You said you had 10, you went to 11, and you went to 12. Now, are you paying attention now? Yeah, I saw it. What do you think should happen here with her fingers? Uh, I think she'd be, she should be counting the right numbers. I don't, I don't know what's wrong. I think she's missing the one number, but I don't know which one it is. Oh, okay. And uh, so you're doing okay now? Uh, no, I, I'm starting to feel really itchy. Itchy? What's wrong? I mean... It, it, I don't know. There's something wrong with this hoodie. What in the hell? What? Ho what? Why, why did you do that? It was attacking me. You're a witness. You saw that, didn't you? I mean, I've seen you take it off. I don't know if... You didn't see what they do to me? You didn't see what they do to me? No, what did it do? I, I think they might want to know. It just attacked me from the inside. It, you, you were there. It, it, it's the bad guy. Okay, I mean, he's there. He won't bother you over there. Okay. Huh? It's gone. There you go. Now you can sit down. You'll be all right now. Well, I guess it's still that heat. I don't know. The heat must be doing that to everybody. And uh, what are you all doing here? Yeah, just leave them alone. There you go. Sit back up in your chair. Leave them alone. Well, she, she, she's got 12 fingers. Shirt was attacking him. I guess, uh, what, what's, I haven't talked to you all night. What's going on? Uh, my, my, my name is Cheryl. Your, 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 your name is Cheryl? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, where are you from? I'm from uh, Coral Springs, uh, Florida. Coral Springs, Florida. And uh, have you been noticing the lady that's trying to count her fingers? Yeah, I, like one person got attacked by their hoodie, another one's counting 11 to 12 fingers, and then, and then there's these two people being like, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, okay, and uh, well, you're the last hope here, and uh, what's going on with you? What? 
You should listen to the same thing. I can't understand you. You should listen to the same I can't understand you. Zing, 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 don't, zing. Now don't get pissed at me. Just relax. That's right. You relax. Deeper father. You relax. You relax. Relax. Deeper father. Now you, out of everybody up here, your nose looks like it's like rubber. Have you ever seen that before? Now just stay in your seat. Stay in your seat. Just stay in your seat. Wow, I've never seen anything like that before. You can stay in your seat. How far does this thing go? I don't know. Wow. Do any other parts of your body do this? No. You're a sick crowd. I tell you what, I can go this way with it. Wow. We can even jump rope with it. Wow. It's just amazing. Now I tell you what, I'm going to snap this thing back. At the count of three, I'm going to snap this back. It's gonna knock you deeper asleep in that chair. So sit back in that chair and brace yourself. Cause when it hits you, you're gonna fall deep asleep. One, two, and three. Deeper asleep. <laughs> Let's give a big round of applause. And subjects, I remove any and all suggestions. I want you just to relax. We're gonna do one more as we send them back. They've been very great up here. That's right, if you got any habits or vices that you are trying to quit or trying to work with, such as stopping smoking, better memory, better relationship, trying to lose weight, you now have that ability to work with whatever habit or vice that you want to work with. That's from me to you. And also, if you are a driver and you text while driving, you will now stop texting and driving. It is very dangerous. You could uh, lose a life or someone else can lose a life. You now, if you are driving, we want that to sink in deeply. If you are a driver, please, no more texting and driving. It is very dangerous and that's what I'm going to give to you all before you leave here. All right, volunteers. I'm going I'm to be, begin to wake the volunteers. So uh, we're going to do this one as we send them back. Now, volunteers, when I wake you up the final time at the count of three and I send you back into this audience, you're going to do one more thing for me. And when you hear this song play right now, I just need you to right, get right, volunteers, when I send you back in this audience and you hear that song, you're going to grab the first person you lock eyes with and you're going to dance with them. That's right. When you hear that song, I send you back in the audience, the first person you lock your eyes with, you are going to grab that person and you're going to dance to that song. We're going to count backwards from five to one. And as I do that, I want you to be prepared for the light five. That's right. Take your time four and just open your eyes slowly. Three, once again, be prepared for the light two and we're gonna shoot right up right now five four three two and one just open your eyes you guys did an amazing job up here and uh, some of your friends and family is gonna tell you what happened up here and uh, you were yeah, they're gonna tell you about what you did up here, but uh, right now, just if you happen to left any phones or glasses, or keys or wallets, anything here, Clifton will have those down there at the table. And right now, I'm just gonna have everybody just go ahead and grab your seats back into the audience. Go ahead and take a seat. And as they do that, everybody, please give them a big round of applause. As they're coming down that way, my name is Benjamin Jackson. I'll be here throughout the duration of the fair. I've had a good time here with you guys, and if you want any type of information, you can follow me on Facebook. I got free pictures and pamphlets up there at the table when you do leave. And uh, next year, if I'm invited back, we're gonna try to have an adult show. That's right, we'll do a two-hour full adult show next year at one of the hotels close by. But uh, right now, as we... I just need you to get real loose. Okay. Get comfortable. Grab your loved ones. Or grab your love partner. Oh, wow. And if you're by yourself, no worries. He's got one just of the kids. After me. Yeah. Gonna do the two step and cowboy boogie. Grab your sweetheart and spin out with him. Do the hold down and get into it. All right, volunteers, awake, awake, 
Thank you very much. I enjoyed you all. Have a nice day at the fair. See you back.